Hey everybody. So today I'm going to do a video showing you how to weave in the yarn end after you've completed your octopus. So here we have a completed octopus stuffed hard as a rock. Um, and after I finished my last tentacle, I pulled up the loop, put the yarn end through the loop and have secured a knot here. I took my yarn and threaded it onto a darning needle. This is a steel darning needle. You want something strong. Definitely no plastic darning needles for this. And we're going to start weaving the tail end in the area of the plug under the octopus head. We're going to weave it back and forth a few times and then we're going to exit the octopus um, on the side of the head and cut the yarn. So the first stitch we're going to do is going to be close to where the finishing knot is right here. See that knot? We want our um, needle to go in really close to that because we don't want to have a loop from our finishing knot to where we start weaving. If we were to enter about here, we'd end up with a large loop. So we want to be really close and I'm going to go right under this bit of yarn here. Put my needle. And pull through. And do my second stitch. Close to that. change direction going over here and just staying close to where I've previously stitched I like to sometimes loop under yarn uh, twice in the same direction so that when I go for my next stitch I've got um, a tight loop under it and just keep pulling through a few times okay let's change direction and go this way And that should do it. Just weave it in three or four times. Then you'll want to go into the octopus head um, through the plug area with the intent of coming back out on the side of the octopus head just above the neck. Um, so you're going to be going in on an angle. If you were to go straight through, you'd have no way of getting your needle out of the octopus head. So go in through the plug area and then out through the side of the head. I'll show you. Um, one thing that's a good tip um, is well, obviously you want to go in close to where you ended and I'm angling towards this part of the octopus head. I'm going to push through and I'm going to use my table surface to, put, to help me push the needle through. Now when I come through I want to try and come through a hole in the in the crochet, a point where there's I'm not in the middle of a stitch. So you can see here, let's get close, I've sort of caught a stitch. So I'm going to just back my needle out a little bit. Try that again. I don't want to catch a stitch. I want to come out right where the stitches um, join one another. Here we are. Okay, so I've come out through a hole. I'm going to push it through. Now at this point you may be able to pull your needle straight out 
but you may need some help. Um, typically when your stuffing is rock hard like this, you're going to need some help. So I use a piece of a jar grit that I've cut and a pair of pliers. Um, I protect my needle by using the jar grip in the uh, pliers, wrap the jar grip around my needle, and then I pull through. So there we go. Okay. So you see where we went in there and we've come out on the side of the head. Okay. And now we pull that very tightly um, and use your scissors to just cut really close to the edge of the head. Okay. Let me show you where it's come out. Can you see it? I go back in with the back of my needle, the eye of my needle, and that little bit that's sticking out there through the hole, I push it back in. And that's it. It's all finished. I hope that helps. Thanks for watching.